Hello, welcome back to Critter Adventures. In this video, I'm going to be introducing to you guys my pet crested gecko, Beachy, who I believe is a girl. Second off, I am actually in my bedroom this time because I have done some apartment rearranging and um, all of my pets, except for my leopard gecko, are now going to be in my bedroom. And so in the next week or so, I will be uploading a video of how it was redone and um, the storage that I have updated for my pets. So let's get started. The phone that I am actually recording with is actually on top of my Presta Gecko's tank. So this is kind of... This is my crested gecko, Vici. I believe she is a girl. Usually males, you can tell because it's very prominent when you check. But just to be 100% sure, I am going to wait until she gets a little bit bigger so that I will be 100% sure. But this is Vici. I have had her for a few months now. Um, I actually got her from Petco, or PetSmart, my bad, and um, I don't like buying from pet stores, but when you go there, you realize that kids can take them home as pets and they may not get the best care. And I went in numerous times throughout about a three month time span to check on this particular get go. And it was the same one every time she hadn't been bought and no one was interested in buying her. And I was scared to find out what the pet store might do. I don't know what their rules are about that. But, um,. I had planned on going to my I had planned on going to my reptile expo that is near me, but I actually had things come up to where I couldn't go, so I decided to go ahead and get this little gal and not to mention that she was way cheaper than what I would have gotten at the reptile expo. But, I do believe that this is a Harlequin, and she does not seem to have any particular pinstripe pattern. Um, I am new to having crested geckos. My mother actually got me interested in them, and they are just super adorable, and I love them so much. Focus, focus on Beachy. Oh, there we go. And they do have these little sticky pad toes, so you never really have to worry, like, if they are on you, like, they're not really gonna fall, because their toes are like little suction cups. But, um, these geckos actually can get up to about maybe this long if not a little bit bigger and I have been fortunate enough that her tail is still intact because I do have a cat and every time I go to position the tank in a different area she hops right on top of the tank and luckily that has not scared my gecko but I feel that that has actually happened while I've been sleeping, and so Beachy has gotten used to it. 
Ooh, they give me a key. <laughs> but um, I actually am rather fortunate that her tail is still intact. But her little sticky pad toes are actually not so sticky right now just because she is in shed. So she is actually sliding right down my arm right now. Um, so she's mostly using her tail to support herself on my hands. But yeah, that is Vici. And if you guys have like any comments or like video suggestions that you'd like to see, go ahead and comment down below. Please subscribe and like my videos as I am new to making a YouTube channel. And I just figured I would give it a try. And I know that there isn't exactly a lot of information about these kinds of pets out there. So give me a like. Thanks. Bye guys.